Green co-leader James Shaw prepares for a television interview following the resignation of Materia Ture on August 9. Until Wednesday night James Shaw was the Greens co-leader. Junior to Materia Ture. Now he's the party's only leader and he's in charge of a train wreck. On Tuesday the Greens' 14-member caucus lost two of its most senior MPs when Kennedy, Graham and David Clendon quit. They had called for Ms. Ture to step aside because of her admission that she committed benefit fraud in the 1990s. She wouldn't leave. So they did and they're not coming back. Just over 24 hours later Ms. Ture announced she was resigning, saying the strife and scrutiny over her benefit fraud confession had become too much to bear. A new female co-leader will be chosen after the September 23rd election. Probably not until early next year. Mr. Shah is setting about his task of rebuilding the campaign as the new leader of his partner party. Labour's Jacinda Ardern basks in Wednesday night's stunning poll result. The News Hub poll showed Labour gaining nine points in the two weeks since she replaced Andrew Little, lifting it to 33.1%. Even more startling was Ms. Ardern's 26. 3% as preferred Prime Minister, just behind Bill English's 27. 7%. That was a labor gain of 17. 6 points. The poll showed national steady on just under 45%. Labor's support has grown at the expense of the Greens and NZ first down 4. 7 points and 3. 8 points respectively. But as the votes shift around among the opposition parties the big picture hasn't changed. Neither National nor a Labour, Greens alliance would have enough seats to hold a majority and NZ. First would hold the balance of power, as every poll this year has shown.